Tea Power was popular from the mid 17th century to the late 19th century during the Qing Dynasty. It was a long gown worn by Manchu women. Because the Manchus, the ruling class of the Qing, were called Qi Ren, the garment was named Qi Pao. The 1930s saw a historical change in the Qi Pao in Shanghai, then the center of fashion and finance in China. Influenced by the West, the Qi Pao's form changed from loose to tight fitting, with higher slits on the sides. Women wearing the Qi Pao in Shanghai were called modern girls at that time. The 1930s and 1940s were the heyday of the Qi Pao. Since China's opening up in the 1980s, an increasing number of Chinese women have gone abroad, and they often wear the Qi Pao at official functions. On many occasions, the Qi Pao is acknowledged as a traditional dress for Chinese women, just as the kimono is for Japanese women, or the sari for Indian women. The Qi Pao has ingenious designs, simple yet proper styles, and concise and elegant outlines. Made of one piece of cloth, the Qi Pao has no pleats. Without accessories like belts, tabs or pockets, the Qi Pao can fully reflect a woman's shape, showing off the curves of the body to the best effect. All Qi Pao's have a stiff, upright collar, a front piece, a fitted waist, and a skirt with slits on the sides. Now, let me introduce the Qi Pao's parts in detail. The Qi Pao generally has two types of collar, the Mandarin collar, and the Xiaofangxian collar. The latter is named after a noted late Qing dynasty beauty and courtesan. The Mandarin collar is traditional, while the Xiaofangxian collar appears modern, similar to today's turned-down shirt collar. The Qi Pao's sleeves may be short, medium or full length, or the garment may be sleeveless, depending on the season. Today's women wear the Qi Pao mainly for such special occasions as banquets. Young women are more likely to choose Qi Pao's with shorter sleeves or no sleeves, while older women tend to select ones with full length sleeves. Commonly known as flower buttons, decorative coiled buttons are elaborate, demanding skillful manufacture. There are hundreds of coiled button patterns, such as butterflies, diamonds, and flowers. Coiled button patterns are mostly selected first by customers and then handmade. The color of the cloth for coiled buttons has to match that of the Qi Pao's decorative border. There are six types of front pieces, namely single-breasted, double-breasted, straight-breasted, slanting breasted, lute shaped and curved. There may also be no particular design for the front piece. 
This overlapping front piece functions only as ornamentation, so the double-breasted and the single-breasted front pieces are almost the same in function, although the former appears more elegant. The straight-breasted front piece is rare, while the slanting-breasted front piece appears most often with thin, coiled buttons nowadays, instead of large ones used in the past. The curved front piece is shaped like an S, with a wide opening, making it easy to put on. The slit-skirted chipao came into fashion in the 1930s, with the movie star Gu Lanjun as the model. Generally, the slits went only up to the knees, But today, the slits are much higher than that, aiming at showing off the beauty of the female leg. Binding is used to decorate the edges of slits and openings. The binding strip is usually made of thin silk or cloth of the Chi Pao's background colour. The binding is divided into single strip binding and double strip binding. The former is narrow and most often used. While the double strip binding, formed by two strips of different colours, is wider and rarely used. The usual embroidery patterns on the Chi Pao are typically dragon and phoenix. Peony and peacock. And all have an auspicious connotation. High-heeled shoes are essential for Chi Pao wearers. Only high heels can ensure the tall and erect posture necessary for the Chi Pao to highlight the beauty of the body. Also required are silk stockings, particularly flesh-coloured ones, as large areas of the legs are exposed. In most cases, handbags are carried. Though no fixed hairstyles are specified, most women like combing up the hair. The Chinese coiled button is an important component of the Chi Pao. Of a variety of Chinese coiled buttons, made one is the most delicate, embodying the craftsman's aesthetic tastes and values. Now let's see how some types of coiled buttons are made. is a folded strip with a visible stitching. Now use the long needle to turn it into a fastening strip. Pick an end, fold it and so to fix it tightly. Take a proper length of the remaining strip. Use the tweezers to wind the strip into a small disc-shaped coil. and 
and sew it tight. Use the other longer part of the fastening strip in the same way to make a bigger disc-shaped coil, and then sew the two coils together. So, the gourd button is finished. Take a top stitching strip and then use a long needle and thread to turn the strip into a fastening strip. When it's done, the thread remains inside the strip. Pick an end of the strip, fold it and sew it tight. Measure a proper length of the strip to make a large loop. And wind the remaining strip around the loop. Make sure the head of the strip is hidden. Finally, use the needle to fix the back of the button tightly.
because the button is shaped like a pipa, or Chinese lute, it is called a pipa button. Take an already made fastening strip and knit it into a ball. It requires even pulls to make it tight. This kind of button is called a straight button. The brass wire wrapping method is complicated. First, spread thin paste on the back of a black strip and leave it to dry. Then draw a line along the central axis of the strip and iron the strip. Cut off a small length of the strip it on a table. Apply two vertical wet threads to the two ends of the strip to moisten the paste. Fold the strip inward along the threads and iron the strip. Lay a thin brass wire along the central axis. Spread thin paste along the wire, fold the strip along the wire, glue them tightly and dry and flatten the strip with an iron.
width of the strip should be no more than 0.5 centimeters. Take a yellow strip, which was made in the same way as the black strip, and use tweezers to fix the black and yellow strips tightly. After measuring the proper length of the strips, use the tweezers to fold them into the shape of a butterfly. Sew the butterfly to fix it tightly. Trim it with the tweezers. pieces of red cloth to fill the loopholes on the butterfly's back, using cotton for padding.
trim away the unwanted cloth. Paste the filling and finally dry the back with the iron. Now a beautiful butterfly button is finished. There are many types of Chinese coiled buttons, such as Chinese plum, phoenix tail, bud, and peach and heart shaped buttons. The same buttons on different kinds of clothes convey different meanings. An erect collar with coiled buttons conveys a sense of elegance and reserved beauty. A low collar with coiled buttons overflows with the female romance and tenderness of the 1990s. A long skirt with a short vest and a middle row of parallel coiled buttons creates an impression of dignity and beauty. A short garment with several pairs of coiled buttons on a slanting front piece displays the purity of classical elegance. The chipao is an embodiment of the rich culture and charm of the Chinese nation. Meticulous attention should be paid to the style and material when selecting a chipao. As for the style, it is advisable to choose a big round front piece, an erect collar, appropriate length of sleeves and a tight-fitting skirt. The skirt should generally reach below the calf. Long sleeves should end between the wrist and elbow, and medium-length sleeves above the elbow. When it comes to material, the selection varies with personal preference, style, the wearer's height, and the occasion. A deep green or purplish-red chipao of high quality, figured velvet, creates an impression of dignity luxury and urbanity. A knitted Dacron chipao gives a sense of erectness, smoothness and elegance. A satin or brocade tapestry chipao with its elegant flower pattern has a tinge of folklore about it. A chipao of printed pure silk fabric feels comfortable and cool and at the same time gives the wearer a dignified look. Generally speaking, on formal occasions, a cheap hour of high quality material and sober style should be worn without accessories. It is important to ensure that all the buttons are fastened. On casual occasions, such as family reunions or engaging in leisure activities, accessories such as a scarf, glasses or a handbag are acceptable. For several years now, the chipao has been reasserting itself as a garment of elegance, frequently appearing in international fashion shows. The present charm of the chipao is no less than that of its past, and it is acknowledged as a formal traditional Chinese dress for women at international social occasions. Increasingly popular not only in China but around the world, the chipao has become the symbol of Chinese female costume, renowned for its cultured elegance. The chipao follows the times, carries forward Chinese civilization, reveals the high taste and manifests the virtues of the Chinese people. Like a beautiful rainbow, 
the Chi Pao bridges the past and the future, as well as life and art, suffusing the world with beauty.